Hi everyone, Adam Zeiss here for CrackedBerry.com. Going to continue our ultimate Twitter client roundup and take a look at OpenBeak. OpenBeak is formerly known as Twitterberry. Um, it's pretty much the first Twitter client available for BlackBerry. So um, for the most part, everybody used it uh, when they first got into BlackBerry and Twitter. It was really the only one. There were a couple others floating around, but at that time, it was the best uh, there was. So um, Twitterberry since rebranded to OpenBeak. They've kind of updated a little bit, has some different features, but when we jump in, we can see our timeline here. Um, it's not super pretty, but it gets the job done. We see our avatars, the tweets there, and it tells us the time. Um, it is a little slow scrolling through. Um, and you can't really click into the actual tweet to get any more info out of it, which is kind of a pain, but uh, that's the timeline. So we'll see the options here. The only way to get to the other aspects, the mentions, um, direct messages is to jump through in the menu. There's no um, icon bar or anything like that. So we can see we can reply to tweets that way. Uh, we have a retweet option here. Uh, view timeline. Um, we can follow and unfollow, which is cool. There's a couple of clients that don't have that, which is nice. Uh, we have user info, favorite, um, and that's pretty much it. So that rolls for the individual tweets. So if we clear out of that and we go back to the main screen here, we have the tweet screen, the what are you doing screen. Uh, pretty much no frills. It shows down the characters available when you type it on the bottom there. Um, so this is our main menu. Here we see we have the public timeline, my timeline. This will show all of your uh, personal tweets. We can see our friends list, view direct messages, we get back into the timeline. Uh, we have a get replies, direct messages, take photo. You can view your favorites, search, add friend. Um, and then down here we have our configuration screen. Um, not a whole lot of options. We have our Twitter information up top, the connection mode. Um, we have our update interval, we can set it to manual, and then you have 1, 5, 10, 30, 60, and 120. So again, I like this because you can set it down really low uh, to one minute. A lot of people choose five and it suits them well. Uh, the cool thing about OpenBeak, it's got a ton of uh, image services. Some, um, if you like a variety, it doesn't have just the basic TwitPic or YFrog. It's got a couple other thrown in there as well. Um, we can choose to close it uh, when it moves to the background, secure connection there. Um, we can choose where to store the icons, either um, on the flash memory or device memory. And then we have our font size there. It starts out at a huge font, so you can actually tweak it. Um, it's got options all the way down, so if you like smaller timelines, you can fit more in, or you like a bigger font, you have all the options there. So we'll back out of that. Uh, not really a whole lot else to OpenBeak. It is 100% free, available at m.openbeak.com. And... It's still getting updates every now and then, but uh, there's much better free alternatives. But if you don't know any better, a lot of celebrities actually still use OpenBeak slash Twitterberry because that's really all they know. Um, but things um, like Uber Twitter, uh, you can buy Tweet Genius, Seismic even is getting new updates. It's fairly new, but they're pretty much a lot better alternatives um, than OpenBeak. But if you have an older device or you just really don't care, just check Twitter every now and then or you just get news feeds or anything like that, then it may suit your needs. So that is it. Again, it is OpenBeak, formerly known as Twitterberry. It's available uh, on your device from m.openbeak.com.